Hello there, you guys, and welcome back to this third video in this little elbow and wrist um, series for the bow. Today is the trickiest one. We're going to put it all together, what we've been talking about, and see if we can make our string crossings a little bit more seamless and easy. So just pretend that you're in lazy person mode. Let's take a deep breath in and another little to fill your lungs completely and then just a slow little breath. Remember we've been talking about that in this um, little series as well, is just how your breath can help you. And by the way, um, one of our guest artist classes, which by the time you're watching it, some of you, um, it will be long past, but may have happen again. I'm gonna invite a trumpet professor to come and talk to us string players about breathing. <laughs> so if you're interested in the monthly guest artist classes, please check out the Patreon page, which is linked below. And for those of you that are already on Patreon and already on those classes, hello. And um, that will be interesting. So anyway, today we are going to be putting all these exercises together. We've talked about the wrist. See, my arm stays still, but my wrist is moving. I should say it's not looking like this because my arm, of course, is moving, but the movement's really generated in my hand. And we've also talked about the elbow preparing a string crossing. But I skipped a string on that one. two strings on that one. So the elbow is really good at helping us prepare the string crossings versus getting just stuck at your old string level and then, oh my gosh, you gotta make a great big movement to that bottom string. You're already there by the end of your bow. So it's like an, the idea of preparation, right? Um, I'm thinking of my beloved viola professor who's <laughs> always yelling that, not, not yelling, but gently reminding me, prepare, preparation, preparation. Um, okay. So here's the exercise for today. We're going to go back and forth on two consecutive strings. And then the elbow is going to come up like this, and we're going to swing over to the third string. And then we're going to swing back to the top string. So when you do this little elbow exercise, Think of like, you know, those little marionette dolls that have a string attached to them and you like pull on them and like a leg comes up or you pull on the string and an arm comes up. Just think that there's like a little string that's going to yank your arm up. So it's like, wee, wee. <laughs> so it's going to look like this. On the return to your A or your, your first string, that's when my elbow swings up. It might seem like a crazy exercise, but it is just an exercise. It's to kind of get us thinking about how the wrist helps us do with string crossings and how the elbow can help you with string crossings. So even if it's kind of messy, just give it a try. You can see that when I go back, I'm hearing the D string or my second string in between. Um, but I'm mostly just trying to help the elbow swing over to the G string for this exercise or my third string. So. Um, give that a try if you want to pause it, and then I will see you in a second where we do the next couple strings. So here are the next couple strings. We're going to start on the second string, third string, and swing over to that fourth string. So I said we're starting on the second string, but really we're going to start on the third string. Back and forth. Elbow out. Swing over to the bottom. Out. So the moral of the story, I guess, is that these, these little ways of um, practicing with using your elbow, using your wrist, and I'm sure there's other ways that one could practice as well to just kind of become aware of, of those um, helpers in the bow arm. These are so helpful when you have a lot of notes in a slur, for example. If you have a lot of notes in a slur, 
um, you don't want to be hearing all of the string crossings and whatnot between um, all the notes that are within a, within a bow. So um, there's lots of exercises in like Wolfhard or the first etude album or any, lots of repertoire, of course, you know, sometimes there's like an awkward bowing where it's all in one bow, but it kind of goes back and forth or it might just like go over for one note and then come back for another note. So to, to have those little tools in your toolbox to help you get around is very helpful, isn't it? So anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Lots of love.